Hi, this is Andy from Stuart Supplies. I'm going to go over a quick tutorial on how to frame a picture. Actually using these Nielsen metal frames. They're aluminum. Uh, nice, they're made in the US. They're actually made in Tennessee. So I'm going to briefly show you how to work this. Uh, there's four legs to it obviously. One on each side. When you receive your package they would be four legs put together like this and then you open your bag of hardware and you assemble it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you need to know is of course we're assuming your picture is already matted and taped in. You need a rigid backing. We sell um, an economy board but it's not strong enough. This is a foam core. Once you're framing you should really be using a foam core backing. So anyway that's how that would be set up. You're going to just set up the foam core behind it and then I'm going to take this and push it aside a minute. I just want to show you how to put the frame together. It's, it's very easy. We always say the first one takes an hour, then they're 10 minutes a piece after that. So what I do is I take the face and put it down so that you can see the back of each piece. Then we take uh, a bag of hardware. The hardware comes with it. I'll show you in a second. This is a bag of hardware that comes with it. There's four of these plates, these little plates that have the screws in them. So we say we back the screws out. So the part, I don't know if you can see in the camera where it says Nielsen. We're looking at the other side that's flat and the screws are backed out flat. Then you take one of these plates that have nothing in them, no screw holes, and you put it on top of it. So you have basically a sandwich and it's flat. Then we take this is the molding. Now there's all different moldings. I'm, I grabbed the 97 amber right now. Uh, and I put two sides in. A short and a long, obviously. If you put two longs or two shorts, it's not going to work out very well. Now I'm going to just grab a screwdriver out of the rack here. And I, I grab them like this and just kind of clamp them up a little bit by hand. And then I turn it, you tighten the screw down, not crazy, we don't need, you know, there's no great pressure on these, just snug enough that they're not going to move around. So what I do is I'll set up another one like that, let me go over it again. This is how the plate comes, we back it out so the screw slot is higher, and the back of the plate that doesn't say Nielsen is flat, pretty flat. Back the screws out, take a flat plate, put it on top of that. Again, we slide it into the track, both pieces, the top and the bottom, and then we slide it into the track again, both pieces, top and bottom. We put it down, clamp it up a little bit with our hands, just make sure the two sides look even. We try to get the screw into the slot. And then we tighten it down again. Not crazy, just snug. So now we have the three sides of the frame made. Okay, I'm going to put this aside a second and I'm going to show you. What we do in the mail order is, I'm just pushing the hardware away, we use Plexi. Because we can ship it, it's easy. Most art shows require it, they don't want glass in them anymore. And especially if you're taking them sh from show to show or fair to fair, it's, it won't break. It's not so much the, the cost of the glass if the glass breaks. The problem is it cuts your artwork. So I take a paper towel, just water. We just dampen it because the plexi is usually filthy, the, the coatings on it. And we just like to clean it off before we even work with it. Plexi has a tremendous amount of static electricity. If you don't clean it off, every piece of garbage in the house finds its way into your picture. So now, within theory, we're cleaned up. So it has two, si two sides of this blue film. The, the film comes in different colors. Sometimes we'll have a clear, sometimes we'll have a paper film. And we try not to touch it. Plexi's an item that you don't want to clean if you don't have to. So you try not to get your fingers in there. Now, 
theoretically, this side is clean. We take our artwork. I just brush it lightly with my hand. Some people use some people use a horsehair brush. I try not to use anything. I try to just make sure I'm clean when I start, and that's it. Face down to my piece of plexi. Turn it over. My image is there. What we generally do, if I can start it, is we'll peel the plexi back. Not all the way. Enough though so that I can get it into the frame and I don't get my hands all over it while I'm putting the frame together. So I'll usually peel it back about an inch. Or to the face, an inch and a quarter, whatever that is. An inch and a half, it doesn't really matter. But the majority of the piece of plexi is not exposed at this point. So what we do then Try to straighten that out again. Now I'm holding it down as I do this because this stuff is difficult to get off. It's never really an easy task to, to separate the clear plastic, the blue plastic from the flexi. Anyway, I'm going to move the molding back into the picture. I take my pieces, I slide them in. Just make sure the bottom is in there. And that's good. I can I can reach all of that. Then I take my last leg. Last leg I won't say is tricky. It's just a little different to do. Here's my hardware again. This time, remember, I back the screws out so that they're flat on the side that does not say Nielsen. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's sticking out on the side that says Nielsen and it's flat on the back. My flat plate goes against it again. This time both sides have to go in this leg. This way, in one channel, I'm backing the screws out again so they're even. Remember the back is flat. The clear, the, uh, the solid plate goes on it and I slide that in this side. Obviously you have to put the screws so they're facing out because if you face them down you can't turn it. So then I take this leg We'll usually flip the piece over at this point again. I take my two pieces together and you insert them into the channels that are left. We check the face that, the pla that, the, that this blue plastic is sticking out so we know we can get to it. I hold the corners together again. Tighten them down. And then we have these items. These are called spring clips. What they are is because the frame is deeper, so it will hold more, you know, if, if what you're framing is, is bigger than that, is, is um, thicker, it can accommodate it. So these are spring clips, they take up the slack in the back. So you push them down and they push your artwork to the face. I don't put tons of them in, I've seen people put, because there's nine, they put in nine, they put in you know as many as they possibly can. Um, I like to leave things to be able to expand and contract a little bit like the matting and, and such, because it, it starts to buckle if, if nothing can expand and contract. So these just go in like this. And that's enough. Then we're going to turn this over. We're going to pull our plastic off. have a beautifully framed piece. Now again, that's a whole key to it. With the plexi, we don't really want to touch it as much as possible. You just saw me knocking a piece of some kind of, of stuff that was laying around off. But it looks pretty good and it's very presentable. This happens to be a nicer frame, a bigger frame than you normally would use on a small piece like this. I personally like bigger frames. I always think it builds an importance to a piece of artwork. Anyway, now I'm going to show you how to finish the back. So we turn it back over. 
obviously you want to make sure you have the top at the top and the bottom at the bottom. So I can't tell you how many times we've wired pieces upside down in the middle of talking, forget where we are. These are little bumpers. They're not extremely important, but they keep a piece, if you have the bumper on it, they keep it from shifting around on the wall, plus they keep it from destroying the wall. They have a little uh, adhesive on the back. They're these little tiny foam rubber pieces. Anyway, I put them, I'm putting them over here. Normally we put them over here, but this is the highest point on this particular frame. So it works there. Just going to check again, make sure I have, so that gives me where the bottom is. These also, uh, they say Nielsen on one side, on the high side. So the screw backs out again. So it's flat on the bottom. And then, I don't know if you can see this, I go in on an angle like this and push down. We usually go about a third from the top. So I'm not going to stand and measure it right now, but normally we do. And then you just tighten this down. Again, not insane, just enough to make it snug. And you back it out again so that the, the, the piece that says Nielsen, the screw's sticking up and the bottom is flat. And then again, on that angle in this track, we put it in. Sometimes they're a little bit tough to play with, like this one. I don't really know why that is, but sometimes they are. And then about the same distance. Normally, like I said, we would be measuring them. They would be exact. And then we tighten it down. So, you know, you can feel them. We don't want any movement in those. I pre-cut a piece of wire already. Uh, this, this is a part where a lot of times you'll see, you can tell somebody uses a piece of string. Somebody, they just do, you know, at the, at the end of it, they'll do a, uh, just a really, a cheap thing that looks, it, it cheapens the whole piece. So if you're going to wire a picture, use wire. It's cheap enough. We sell it. You can buy it locally. And then what you do is, a lot of people will go through again. This is a tiny piece. There's no weight. I'm not concerned with that. So when you go around, you go around, try to go around tightly to the piece, just like I'm doing. I'll show you in a second. And we go again over here, a little bit of slack. And then I'll go around it a couple of times. But I don't like to go around it loosely like this because it always looks cheap to me. It looks like, you know, a real home job as opposed to a professional job. Then you should have a pair of wire cutters. Give it a snip there at the end. Your wire should be nice and tight. It looks professional like that. And then you have a framed picture. I hope this was a help to uh, anybody who's trying to figure out the metal frames. Give us a call, www.stew-artsupplies. We're in New York, Baldwin, New York. We're also 516-546-5151 if you need to call us. All this stuff is available on the website, and any help you would need, give a call if you don't get it out of the videos. Thanks. Have a great evening.